Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. So I thought it would be a good idea to take y'all fall shopping with me and just check out what Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, and Goodwill have. I didn't get any clips from Goodwill because it was incredibly busy, but they are not the main fall stores anyway. Hobby Lobby and TJ Maxx are. So um, that dough bowl that you saw, I thought it was beautiful, but it was a little bit more than I wanted to spend on something like that. So I didn't pick it up. And I always love looking at their garlands. I like these little knitted pumpkins and I'll share with y'all a pretty big haul at the end I thought this velvet ribbon was beautiful it was on like a barrette and it was a pretty good price but I didn't pick it up I don't know if I want to start wearing bows in my hair again it might be a little juvenile but I thought that one was so pretty Here's all their kids crafts. I did pick up some of those. I thought that pumpkin hanging was super pretty to paint or decorate really however you want to. If you're into wood burning, that would make a really good project to wood burn. And the day that I went in Hobby Lobby was actually a good bit before I went twice. So that's why you see that I have poster board and stuff in there that I don't share with you because uh, I went twice and the second time I went their shelves were much more full. So here we are at TJ Maxx and I'm just looking at their glass pumpkins. I thought that one was really pretty. I just don't need to spend um, the money on a glass pumpkin because they're kind of expensive but here are their cute little tea towels. I still like looking at the decorative towels even though now all I buy is the plain white tea towels and I thought this pattern was really cute. It reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. And here is their mostly Halloween stuff. I thought these throw pillows were super cute. They were a decent price and they're really soft and I thought that green one was beautiful. It reminded me of something that you'd find in the Hearth and Hand collection at Target. And this shirt was so cute. It says, I all of you more. And I thought that was adorable. I didn't pick it up, but I liked it. I thought about getting those scoops, but I decided to buy some um, online at Ikea instead. And that tray was so pretty. I think it was around $10. It really wasn't that bad for how beautiful it was. And of course, I always got to look at the fall mugs. And I thought that wreath was kind of cool. I don't really decorate for Halloween. I, I decorate with pumpkins and stuff, but that's about all I do for that. <laughs> so this is all the stuff I got yesterday. I was going to do with the haul yesterday, but... I only had enough energy to cook dinner by the time I got home. I got home at like five, which is way later than I wanted to come home, but I had to get groceries and stuff like that too. So I'm gonna show y'all everything I got. So starting off strong, um, I got a couple things for birthday gifts for a friend of mine. And the first thing is this pumpkin pie and cheesecake flavored popcorn um her birthday's in september this was three dollars and 49 cents and i wanted to get some like fall theme stuff so and then i got her some chocolate stroop waffles and these were 4.99 and then i think the last thing i got for her was this adorable little mushroom mug and it's got these like gold um, like star or sparkle designs on it and it's a pretty good size mug she really likes mushrooms I don't know if I said that this was only $4.99 and it's a really big mug it's a good size for like soup or you know, of course coffee and stuff like that too so that's all of the birthday gift stuff I got for her I got something for me at TJ Maxx it's something I wanted to get on my birthday, but they didn't have any more whenever I went. And it's this like 
belt bag. I know that they're technically fanny packs, but now the style is to wear them, you know, cross across your body like this. And I really like that. I have a Jansport like black, um, just like woven one that I use for casual events and stuff like that. But I wanted a nice leather one for if I'm like more dressed up, like in this, for example, maybe I just want, um, it to look a little bit nicer. My other one is stained too, so I don't really want to wear a stained bag whenever I'm trying to dress up. But this was $39.99 and it's Valencia, Valencia Holland brand. I looked for these online to see if I could just order one online, not at TJ Maxx, and they were like at least $100. It was ridiculous. And I like the woven pattern and it's got three little zippered pouches. Um, I always need a bag on me to carry my diabetic supplies. Um, and of course, like a little bit of cash and like my ID, stuff like that. So I thought this was really nice. Okay. Total. I spent $57.06 TJ Maxx. Like I said, that little bag was like a late birthday gift for me. It was the last one they had. And I think they got more brown leather purses in stock because the last time I looked around my birthday, they had like none. And they've had them all year long. And then I think near the end of the season, maybe they just stopped carrying them or they didn't restock and now they are finally restocked. Next, I think we're going to talk about all the Hobby Lobby stuff. Now, I got some Christmas stuff while I was at Hobby Lobby because um, the things that I got I knew would sell out and they're already on sale, so why not go ahead and get it? Um, so the Christmas stuff I'm gonna save for a future video and so I'm gonna show you all the fall stuff and just regular things that I got. So if you've been around any length of time, you've probably heard me say that at my church, I help out with little kids and like the little bitty ones. And so I'm always finding crafts for that age group. Um, I got a turkey headband kit. Now, not all of these crafts are gonna be religious. In fact, Hobby Lobby has been slacking on the amount of religious crafts they have, which is kind of sad, but they, I mean, they still have some, and of course, Christmas ones are gonna be religious, but anyway, so I just thought this would be really cute, and all the fall stuff was either 40, I think it was 50% off, and then all the Christmas was 40% off, so. Um, so these were all really cheap. I got a lot of these craft kits for like a dollar, two dollars, that kind of thing. And then I got this turkey foam kit and then it's got these like flat wooden spoons that are the body of the turkey. I thought these would be really cute. Now, a lot of the crafts I get for the age group of kids that I work with are the stick on like foam craft type things because um, my kids would kind of struggle with using glue and glue sticks don't stick to everything so okay that's Christmas okay this is a set of fall sun catchers and I like sharing this stuff with y'all because you can use these at home so if you have little ones at home I just like to show you what they have I thought it was cute it's got a little owl acorn scarecrow turkey a fox and a pumpkin and then of course it comes with the paints so we have a handprint owl too. I thought these were really cute. It comes with these like huge googly eyes. And then, okay, so the real reason I even went to Hobby Lobby is to get these jars. They're spice jars with corks in them. They're only $8.99. They were not on sale. Um, they keep these at, the, at my Hobby Lobby. They keep these with like their organizing stuff now. They you know, redone things, how they, um, how the aisles are set up. So that's where those are now. It's a set of 12. I already have a pack of these I bought last year and I use them for my spices, of course. 
Um, I guess you could use them for sprinkles or glitter or anything you wanted to, but they are um, meant to store food. So I have my spices in them and I bought labels off of Amazon that I really, really like. They're just like a clear background label and they come with like every spice label you could imagine. In fact, I'm not gonna use all of them, but I ran out of them. I was um, going through my um, like back stock of spices and refilling things and stuff and I ran out of jars, so I decided to pick up another pack. I think it's time to move on to our last bag, which is Goodwill, of course. So one of the things I got was this dress and this was red tag was on sale it's just like a Shein curve dress but I don't really shop at Shein or Timu anymore so um, I haven't in well over a year now so or I think it's been a year anyway so I have such a hard time finding stuff that fits anyway so it this is actually a couple size bigger than I am but it's stretchy and it just hangs well. It's a nice length, I think, because it's so much bigger, but I prefer to, if I'm going to buy a, a dress from one of those like cheap online shops, just find it secondhand because then I can guarantee that it's going to fit and look at least decent. So I, so I like this. I just got it for like a casual dress that I don't mind getting messed up I thought the color was really pretty so okay so I found this it's like a nightgown it's a really like soft material this was eight dollars and 29 cents I have been to Goodwill's further out that the clothes are way cheaper they're still like five dollars six dollars this Goodwill prices clothes individually and it's my closest one and the one I go to most often unfortunately so I don't get many clothes there because they're so expensive um, for a thrift store pricing. But $8.99 is still cheaper than I would get, than I would pay for this, like on Amazon and stuff. So then I got this nice table runner. Okay, I have no idea if I'm even in the same spot or not, but my storage was full, so I had to go clear some things. Anyway, I showed y'all the nightgown and this was a this is a table runner I got for three dollars and three cents which was actually a pretty good price it's got this nice beautiful texture and it's like a black and tan I don't know if y'all can see it really well it's not terribly long but I have a round table unless a leaf is in it then it's oval so um, I don't need a very long table runner but I thought it was absolutely beautiful the pattern and texture on it and then the last thing I got at Goodwill is this men's button down this is for my husband it's like a Wrangler wrinkle resistant shirt and I always take pictures of the shirts before I buy them if I can to kind of text him and see if he wants it or not Let's see how much was this it was seven dollars and 29 cents so the only red tag I had like I said the red tag was on sale only red tag I had was this dress so the dress ended up being a dollar 25 I'm not sure how they came to that but yeah it made the dress a dollar 25 which is great because I thought I paid just half of the, half of that amount but apparently not so my total was nineteen dollars and eighty six cents okay so I'm gonna have to use my calculator for this because I'm not gonna count the Christmas stuff and how much I spent okay so the total in the fall stuff I got from Hobby Lobby and the spice jars was twenty one dollars and forty five cents so I feel like that is pretty good all right y'all thanks so much for hanging out with me I hope y'all enjoyed this fall haul and I'll see y'all next time bye